tip for you there, do not get your phone out while being on ride, they will stop it and confiscate it off. Uh, I don't think I've got a dry bit on me whatsoever, all the way around, you can see, I am absolutely soaked. We are definitely soaked now, aren't we? And uh, it's definitely supposed to be that colour, and at the moment they're currently that colour. Definitely needs to be cooled down today, so if you are coming, make sure that you have a, have a spare pair of clothes, or it is a really warm day, because you will get soaked while being here.
it's time for Sandra and I've been here for about an hour just walking around the queue line uh, just literally taking photos and uh, yeah they've kind of made the queue line shorter so there's a few things I want to go over with you uh, in terms of Zandra itself they've added uh, a uh, bridge now to make the uh, walkway uh, shorter but also that they can allow people to walk just in front of the coaster itself and you get some absolutely fantastic photo opportunities from there which is great I want to talk about a little bit why I think uh, Zandra is probably one of the best coasters in the world right now and why I think it, it kind of beats Steel Vengeance at this moment. So, first of all, I am walking through the queue line at this moment in time. I've got my bag, I've got a GoPro on me. First of all, locker system. The locker system is five uh, Polish lottery, which is one pound for the whole entire day. And if you're good, you can actually get it again for the second day. Um, so yeah, you can get two days with one, for, uh, pretty much one pound uh, here. And that uh, literally just transfers all around the park, from the water park into here. Everywhere you go, you can put a bag in the locker and collect it whenever you want. There's no time frame on it, there's nothing. That is why I think one is better. Number two, I've got my GoPro with me at the moment. I've also got a chest mount on. You're allowed to wear chest mounts on this ride, which again, makes it much better than Steel Vengeance. Another thing, I can actually carry my items with me in the queue line and put my locker, my actual items in the locker just before getting to the station, which again, you can't do on Steel Vengeance. Other one, once this ride leaves that lift hill, there is literally nothing else the ride can do. There is no mid-course brake runs, there's no brakes, there's no trim brakes. This ride will haul all the way until it hits that brake run right at the very end. So that's another reason why I think this ride right now is better than Steel Vengeance. And this is why I think this ride is probably one of the best coasters in the world right now. And yeah, like I said, you know, the one thing that was letting it down was this queue line. Um, and they've literally just completely halved it pretty much. They've opened up two separate areas now where you can actually walk through uh, without having to uh, kind of wait or walk around. But yeah, I mean, you get some absolutely fantastic photos. The park allows you to get photos of it. They want to show it off. It's an absolutely fantastic and beautiful ride. Yeah, so for me, this is better than Steel Vengeance. I mean, it's just my opinion, uh, but I know a lot of people are changing their minds once they ride this of how better it is. What I would say is, if you're trying it, go first in the middle at the start of the day and then go back on it later and then you'll see a difference in the ride itself. This ride runs two seconds faster for, from the morning to the night. So when you want to get on it, get on it later on. My personal opinion, if you go on the last but one row, that is the best row on this ride. It doesn't matter what seat you're in, just literally get on there and you will feel the speed of this ride. It probably hits the brake run the quickest of any ride I've ever been on. Literally, it goes into the last inversion. From the last inversion, it goes straight the way down uh, into the brake run, and it literally hits it. When it hits the brake run, you can actually hear the wheel still, still spinning. That's how quick it hits that brake run. Anyway, you don't want to hear about me going on it anymore. What I'm going to do is actually going to get on the ride myself now. I'm going to walk down this little aisle here, and I'm going to get on it and ride Zandra.
little ride there on Zandra, not once but twice so i managed to get around sit in my favorite seat so favorite seat last but one row left hand side that will be the best intense ride you'll have on it uh, then i went round again and got front row i can't believe it literally i was on my own one little boy went in and uh, yeah i was like well why not let's go and join so yeah i managed to get that amazing video as well literally absolutely fantastic really really good ride fantastic operations there they are literally flying they are working their asses off in there today to make sure that this ride stays literally under 10 minute wait the wait at the moment is commonly in, in the actual queue um, in the station bit so how it works is pretty much you've got a screen when it's ready to go in there'll be a countdown and if you see like a if you're all one and there's one or you know available you can actually go through as a single rider you know it's a great way of doing it keeps the kind of the uh, the actual queue down by using up that single rider queue bit but yeah i absolutely love it every time i come off there it amazes me it really does single-handedly probably one of the reasons why i bought an annual pass here to be able to come over here for less than 30 quid return to ride that absolutely fantastic ride i absolutely love it from the start of the drop all the way through it is intense and that's why i love it anyway bring myself back down to earth i'm gonna go and grab a beer I'm gonna go and spend some time with the missus who's been sunning herself up while i've been taking pictures and riding coasters so that is the next thing for me catch up in a beer
Okay, finally I've caught back up with Becky who was chilling out on the deck chairs for about two hours. How was your little uh, chill out session? It was very good, had a little nap in the sun. Yes, mighty yeah. fun to Zandra. I think <laughs> yeah. it was just like watching it go round that made you fall asleep. Yeah, it was. So yeah, it's kind of like the sun is starting to set here again in the park. And yeah, we've had a fantastic day again here as well. Right behind us there, you've got formula. Uh, so yeah, the queue lines are dropping really uh, a lot as well now. So there's not many, you know, kind of many rides has got a big queue line. I said Zandra's still pretty much, uh, you know, in the station walk on pretty much. Uh, Hyperion's still going really strong at 10 minutes as well. So yeah, the actual queue line's been really good. Is there anything that you want to get on to before kind of leaving? No. Yeah. What now? Yeah. No, can't think of anything. <laughs> no. Yeah, we might have a go, quick go on formula before we uh, head off. Uh, but yeah, and then we're going to have a look around the shops and grab some bits before we kind of leave back to uh, to get back to our hotel. But yeah, like I said, it's been an absolutely fantastic day again. Uh, the sun has been shining all day. We have got very wet at one point. We've now completely dried off finally. Uh, this is how long it's taken us. And yeah, it's just kind of nice to ponder around and kind of see what other little bits there are around the park. Some of the bits that we've been here for what, three days and we didn't even know was around, did we? So it's kind of worth doing as well and hopefully this gives you an insight into uh, some of the stuff that we are doing but anyway should we go and crack on yeah we'll get on another coaster and then get to the shops and we'll show you around the shops just to kind of little bits of things that are going on in there as well so that's it guys we'll go on formula next Forty-five for that. You've got drinks there, the pens. For the kids area, you've got your different maker rods there. You've got a speed water coaster and the bags, headphones there. Hyperion. This little t-shirt. Wallet. If you wanted to go for the wallet. Energy Landia uh, t-shirt. Really thick t shirt, gloves, and a bag. It's a pretty good briefcase bag, like laptop bag. That is 430. Some little headphones, Bluetooth Energy Landia headphones, shirt, little hoodie there. Nice another little energy land here on limited edition. Got a formula t-shirts just there and the hood and the mugs. Dragon area. Swiss. Got little cow mugs there, they look cute. And then just the bag itself. Boomerang bag. On the family boomerang, and you've got the Vikings little bits with the Viking cups. And then I've got one of them already, I purchased that once. 
Got the water park in there. Got some things if you want them. That's 62. Socks, they're the magic socks that I was talking about. And then you've got the long sleeve t-shirt jump uh, t-shirt jumper things here as well. So it's 60. And you've got some more really cute stuff here as well. And the Energy Landia neck pillow there, which is really nice. So yeah, quite a lot on offer here in the shop. This is just located just by the entrance or the exit of the park itself. There you go, guys. A nice little walk round. Okay, like us tomorrow, we're going to have our luggage with us because we're going to actually leave from the park going uh, back home. And uh, yeah, so just by the entrance, there is these big lockers here. Um, so yeah, it just shows you we can get our suitcase quite comfortably in there, or we will try tomorrow anyway. Um, but yeah, so we'll be able to kind of store our um, suitcase for the plane in there for tomorrow without that rubbish being in there that someone's left. But yeah, this is included in your one pound or five Polish lotti uh, banding. So yeah, just by the entrance I'll quickly show you where they are, which is just literally as you come through here, you've got one there, one there, one there, and one down the bottom as well. So that's it. But yeah, that is it. That's the end of our day number three vlog here at Energylandia. And uh, Bex seems like she's joined another family over there. She's, <laughs> she's a little like, listening. Um, so yeah, how's your day been? Yeah, really good. It has, isn't it? Doing something a bit different uh, as well. One thing that I didn't mention uh, that we do have to mention is uh, if you leave like about eight o'clock ish, just be prepared and you're walking back, be prepared to be bitten to death. I've literally got about 20 to 30 bites all over me. And you've got quite a lot over you, haven't you? Yeah, I didn't know they could go through clothes. No. So yeah, it's it's kind of like literally. So we haven't bought any mosquito stuff because the last time we came, we literally the park closed about five or six. Yeah, well, I it's think it was October. Maybe they're not around then. Yeah. So, but yeah, you bring will some spray. bring some spray, and you or you will get bitten. Uh, and it's not just walking through the fields. We were standing outside of McDonald's yesterday, and we were getting attacked like anything, weren't we? So you've caught the sun today, you can see it on your face. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see that you've caught the sun. Um, other things to consider is uh, the queue jumping. That it, it is like a norm, isn't it? Right. Literally, it is just like, it just you just be standing in line and you'll just see people overtaking you, just standing in front of you. You know, um, it is like, I don't know what it is. They just, just do it really, don't they? I don't know kind of how it's accepted here. No. You see signs that says queue jumping is not, uh, you know, permitted. Uh, but though you just see random people and also what i would say is a kind of a little thing as well is get a locker outside of the actual uh, ride queue because when you get into the ride queue area and you've got a locker uh, you basically while you're putting your locker in people do not wait lose your space. you'll lose your space and then it's literally you Absolutely. you feel like the bad person trying to get back into the queue line as well don't you we've yeah. done it a few times today and um, so yeah we did it on speed we actually just stood at a put our stuff outside didn't we and then just went back into the queue line that yeah. way and then just carried on through and then we still got queue jumped by a few people then to be fair didn't we <laughs> so just something to consider while you, if you are coming here nowhere near as bad as uh, Porta Ventura to be fair um, but yeah it, you know it can be a little bit of a pain here uh, one person it seems to be one person can queue and then the rest can join them just as they get into the station uh, that seems to be the kind of the general rule but you enjoyed it I did you enjoy your two hours got oh socks. got my socks as well so these were 24 yeah when they 24 which worked out to about five pounds i think it is something like that um so i've got some more of them i'm really happy about that and we've got some merchandise in there for the kiddies <laughs> as well uh, they're going to enjoy that and love that as well. So yeah, enjoy your two-hour kind of chill out. Oh, I love it. It's amazing. That's it with some beers and that as well. So yeah, we've gone for a few beers again today, haven't we? Yeah. 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 So the station must be settling out. Yeah, definitely. That's our little top tip. So you petrol station just outside of here, grab your beers from in there. They're exactly the same as what they give you here. They give you canned drinks when you're walking around um, and they're accepted everywhere. So grab yourself some of them. You will save literally. So it's 14.99, isn't it, for four, or it's 10 Polish lottie per one. So yes, 
okay, we've got to kind of, um, you know, kind of look after the park and spend your money in here. Uh, but stuff like that, you know, buy your merchandise and that bus drinks and stuff like that. If you can get it cheaper, get outside and do it from there. And it'll obviously save a fortune in the long run, especially on our first day. We spent a fortune here, didn't we? So just say we were going to eat like kings and queens and we, uh, we did more than that. So, um, but that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. This, will be, this is the third day. We've got one more day remaining uh, and then we start getting these uploaded as quickly as we can. That's it. Thanks for watching guys and we'll catch your ass down the road.